Now I want to say something about uh, what, why it is that uh, I have to be teaching you, be talking to you about African history. The reason I'm talking to you uh, about it is because it's not in the textbooks. And it's not in the textbooks because we don't write textbooks. We have other people write the textbooks and they put that propaganda in there and we are supposed to swallow it. Now we are told that after the Greeks uh, uh, were taken over by the Romans and that civilization decayed and then the Roman civilization went down after the fall of Rome and you had a 500 year dark age, we were told that uh, Christianity re-civilized Europe and uh, produced modern civilization. And we know if we read the literature that these Christians, these white Christians of Europe are the dumbest people that ever lived. They said that the earth was flat like a pancake out in the uh, vastness of space with the sun and the moon and all the stars going around it. The ancient Egyptians in the pyramid age 6,000 years ago knew that the world was round. They knew that it went around the sun in 365 and one fourth days. And their astronomers measured the earth and they knew what the polar diameter was. They knew what the equatorial diameter was. They measured the circumference of the earth and they calculated it so accurately until modern astronomers said their error was only one yard. In other words, the circumference of the earth is about 25,000 miles and they calculated it with an error of about this, one yard. So uh, uh, if you read history the way it happened and not the way other people wrote about it, you will find out that the black race created the civilization created the white, uh, civilized the white folks two times. Uh, so that uh, yeah, you want to get some perspective on this. And uh, the white folks took the religion of ancient Egypt, of Ethiopian Egypt, and uh, ba balled it up completely. Right. They'll tell you that uh, uh, if you get some of this cheap literature like the Jehovah's Witnesses people turn out, I remember seeing one of their quarterlies. God is sitting up on a golden throne in heaven. Blue eyes, blonde hair. Next to him is Jesus Christ, also with blue eyes and blonde hair. On the other side is the Holy Ghost, also white, and a bunch of angels in the background white. And a bunch of people kneeling on the ground, worshiping this God, black and white, Underneath is hell with the devil black and all the imps black. So it looks as though uh, since white people are not admitted into the Christian heaven, then we all go to wind up in hell. But I told my students they had nothing to worry about because the only unpleasant thing about hell was the heat. It's too hot down there. But since uh, if you go there, you're going to stay a long time. And if you stay long enough, you get used to the heat. So that then it won't bother you anymore. And then I found out that uh, the, African, the Africans were dragged into the slave trade because the white folks were too lazy to work and produce the things that they wanted. And they brought, dragged us into slavery, converted us to their particular brand of Christianity. And the African had a much better religion over in Africa. That's what I call Christianity before Christ. He had a much better religion. The Christians tell you that there's a, a God sitting up on a throne in some place called heaven who created the whole universe and uh, he created the human race and they turned out to be such a uh, yeah, voiceless bunch of people and they had to have a flood drown out most of them to give the race a new start. And then this new bunch of people went to pot and finally had to send his only son down to be crucified to save these people. 
And uh, that's what they call the Christian scheme of salvation. Now the Africans uh, had a religion which was much better. Uh, in ancient Egypt, uh, if you will see a copy of my new book called Christianity Before Christ, and there's a long section in there on the mysteries of Egypt, those are the religious rites of the ancient Egyptians. And you will find out that uh, these uh, people, uh, in other words, there are two types of religion in the world. Uh, supernatural religions or theistic religions, and then you have natural religions or atheistic religions. A lot of people have an idea that if a man is an atheist, that is if he doesn't believe in a personal God, he's an irreligious person. That's not true. The Africans had an atheistic type of religion and they were deeply religious people because they uh, believed in that man not only has a body, but he also has a mind, soul, or spirit. And they took the position, for instance, if you went to a temple in ancient Egypt and told the priest that you wanted Horus, the Egyptian Christ, to save your soul, he would tell you to not to waste his time. That Horus, Osiris, Isis, and nobody else is gonna save your soul except you. In other words, they tell, they tell you this. They say, we believe in reincarnation. You have lived before. You come back to the world. And if you want a better life, the next time you come back, you'll have to earn it yourself. The gods are not going to give it to you. And the Egyptians told these people, if you want a better life, the next time you come back to the earth, you live a good life now, and then when you come back, you'll have a better life. But if you lead an evil life, the next time you come back, it'll be worse. So it's up to you. Yeah, so that they, uh, they told people not to pray to gods or angels or anything to save them. It was their job to save themselves. And I think that's a better religion than asking some dead Jew to save you. Now, uh, these uh, people, they believed in spiritualism and they believed in theosophy. And uh, the whole world, all the religions of the world can be traced back to this African source. And uh, Christians say their religion is true, but paganism is false. And as I've told some preachers, Christianity was stolen from the pagans. So if Christianity, if paganism is false, so is Christianity. Now, uh, you say, you say to yourself, well, uh, yeah, when the uh, African, a member of anyone who believes in the African traditional religion, he tells you that he, will, he believes in God. But he doesn't believe in the type of God that the white folks believe in. The white folks believe that God is an oversized white man sitting on a throne somewhere up in a place called heaven. The African traditional religion teaches you that there's a number, there's a large number of gods. You have tree gods, sun gods, moon gods, earth gods, star gods, and all like that. And since a group of colleges make up a university, then a group of the little gods make up the big god. So you take all the little gods and merge them together and you get the great god which is the universe itself. It never started, it never was created, and it'll never have an end. And uh, so therefore they said that the, uh, the great God is nature itself, the universe, and they believed in a doctrine of the Trinity. God is the physical universe. Christ is the mental universe. And matter and, my, and mind interact and produce life. So you get a trinity of matter, life, and mind. And that's it. And uh, you, uh, it show you how, uh, how we have been badly miseducated and, and misled. One of my friends is a great black scholar, Professor Yosef Ben.